for June 2014, this is CTA News in Review. This month, the CTA moved closer to beginning major reconstruction of the Wilson and 95th Dan Ryan stations on the Red Line by awarding construction contracts for both projects. Both contracts, $154 million for the Wilson project and $23 million for foundation and retaining wall work on 95th Dan Ryan, were awarded to Walsh 2-in-1 Joint Venture following separate bidding processes. The $203 million Wilson project will begin this fall. It will replace Wilson's badly deteriorated station house that was built in 1923 with a modern and accessible station that will also allow transfers between the Red Line and Purple Line Express. The project will also rebuild nearly half a mile of century-old elevated tracks and relocate supporting beam out of the street to improve safety and create a more pedestrian-friendly environment. The reconstruction of the CTA's 95th Street Terminal, a $240 million project, will also begin this fall. The project will build a brand new, significantly expanded station to replace the current structure, which was built in 1969. 95th Street is one of the busiest stations in Chicago, serving both as the southern terminal of the Red Line and a major bus terminal. It sees over 20,000 customers and 1,000 buses every weekday. Both projects are part of Mayor Emanuel's Building a New Chicago Program, along with Governor Pat Quinn's Illinois Jobs Now program, updating critical infrastructure that will help CTA continue to serve customers as effectively as possible. Eight Red Line stations on the south side will soon have new, original works of art by local artists. Mayor Emanuel and CTA President Claypool in June unveiled conceptual renderings of the artworks as part of the Red Line South Reconstruction Project historic $425 million investment that rebuilt the Red Line South into a brand new railroad and modernized rail stations along the branch. Through a call for artists process, the CTA received more than 300 artist submissions for the Cermak Chinatown through 87th Street stations. The winning proposals were selected based on artistic merit, qualifications, and the professional recognition of the artists. Installation is expected to begin in late 2014. The CTA already has more than 50 works of art at 41 stations along its eight rail lines, and will add an additional 21 artworks to that collection. In addition to the new works along the South Red Line, the CTA's collection of public art will expand at seven recently renovated stations on the North Red Line, as well as at Wilson and its stations on the O'Hare branch of the Blue Line as part of the Your New Blue project. The CTA has also hired Chicago's own Theaster Gates, an internationally renowned artist, to develop an artwork program for the new 95th Street Terminal. The CTA continued to make progress on several other rail improvement projects in June. Work on the 18th Street connector, which brings the orange line into the loop, was finished ahead of schedule during the month. The $25 million project was completed over just four weekends instead of the originally scheduled five. As part of the Your New Blue project, the CTA continued its work to upgrade tracks on the O'Hare branch of the Blue Line. Once the work is finished this fall, Blue Line customers will have smoother, faster, and more reliable rides. Work to modernize the Harrison Red Line station also moved into the final phase. The $10 million rehab will give the station's 1.4 million annual users a brighter, cleaner, and safer trip. The CTA continued to remind customers who still need to transition that they can get a Ventra card at any CTA rail station, over 1,300 retail locations, or online at VentraChicago.com. The CTA also reminded customers that they can also pay their fares with their contactless personal debit or credit card, and that they can still pay cash on CTA buses. For all your breaking CTA news, go to TransitChicago.com news, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.